What's up, YouTube's Plasma CV here, and recently with Minecraft 1.6, um, you haven't been able to use your HD texture packs, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get your HD texture packs back with the new version of MC Patcher, and also I'm gonna show you guys some cool texture packs that I use, and how to install a texture pack in case you don't know how. So first we'll start off with MC Patcher. Um, you want to go to this link in the description. I will also have all of the links of the texture packs. It's, they're all going to be foreshared.com as well, so same download now spot. But anyways, go to this link in the description for MC Patcher. Click download now. And then put that on your desktop, and then you can go ahead and run it. MC Patcher is a really easy program to use. So simple. Um, if you notice right when it opens, it'll be like analyzing Minecraft. Whatever version number you have, I have 1.6.6, the jar file of your version. And then once it gets done analyzing, you'll have these three options. In old versions, you wouldn't be able to click HD textures. Now with 1.6 out, but now you can with the new update. So what you want to do, I recommend checking marking all three. They don't hurt, you know, better grass. It's just nice to have. And then once you have all three of those checks, just click patch. And that's about it. Um, old versions did delete your mods that you had in single player, but now they now this with this version it won't. Mine didn't. If for some reason yours does, then just refer back to my old video. So that's it for MC Patcher. Now I'm going to show you guys some screenshots of my texture packs. Um, this it doesn't have to do with the texture packs, but I was just walking around and I saw a floating cactus. This was a while back with 1.6.4. Um, yeah, I thought it was funny. On with the texture pack. So um, this is I just set this up for demonstration purposes. Just a bunch of different blocks. And this is the default texture pack. Um, you also want to pay attention to like the health and my inventory bar, like the water and lava, and see what they look like in the other texture packs. But this is default. Next is going to be called John Smith. Uh, I really like this texture pack. I use it currently. Um, everything looks really good on it. I think. I like the way the minecarts look and everything. Just a good texture pack. Um, this one's LB Photorealism. I also really like this one. It's really realistic. The gravel looks really good. Um, I really like the TNT on this one because on all the other texture packs, basically, it's like TNT. But for Photorealism, it's explosives. It's pretty funny. Um, so yeah, that's Photorealism. You can also notice the health. It's with little circles instead of hearts. And water and lava. This one is called WooCraft. Um, this one's really cool. It's got like a Chinese twist to it. Um, I really like the glass in this one. It's like basically really clear. Glowstone looks really cool too. Um, yeah. And this one is uh, Doku Craft. Dogecraft's really good. Um, I, one thing I really don't like about it is the way the ore blocks look, like the gold and the iron. I just don't really, really like the way that they look, but um, I really like the doors. I didn't show a picture of it, but the doors, if you can see, they look really good. So here's just a picture of the forest, kind of. Um, I'm just going to show you guys a few different things about like this tree right here, the grass and mushrooms and whatnot. So this is the default. Next would be John Smith. Um, mushroom changes, just pretty cool. Next is photorealism. I really like this one. If you notice, for like default, if you look at the bark right here, it's all blocky. And then you go in the next one for John Smith. That one looks pretty good. But then photorealism looks really realistic, really nice. Um, you want to pay attention to the mushroom too with this next one. Um, Woocraft. This is one mushroom, but with Woocraft, it's like a little patch of them. Shows little mini ones, but it is one mushroom. Same screenshot. And over here in the distance is just a little redstone thing I made. You don't have to worry about that. And next is Doku Craft. This one's also really good. I like I really like all these. Oh, also for Doku Craft, um if you notice right here. I don't really know what happened there. But there's tall grass right here. Um you can't really see it in photorealism or Woocraft, but Doku Craft, the MC Patcher, a lot of the stuff is broken in Doku Craft with the download link. Um, that was my fault, but you just need to go and upload and 
upload. You need to go update your Doku Craft instead of the actual MC Patcher. So I would wouldn't recommend downloading Doku Craft. I have it there just in case, you know, it's cool. But if you really want Doku Craft, I recommend going to a different video. I couldn't if you wanted for like a request, I could make an update. But yeah. I think I personally think a lot of them look better than Doku Craft anyway. But yeah, that's all the screenshots I have. Um now I'm gonna show you guys how to install a texture pack. I'm gonna use WooCraft for example. Um you wanna go to your dot minecraft folder. Open that up if you don't have a shortcut. Then go to your search, percent, app data percent, enter. And then that's about it. Um once you're in here, just go to your texture packs. And then once you get done downloading whatever texture pack you want, um drag it to your desktop, just put it on there like I did to WooCraft. Leave it in the actual Minecraft or the actual WinRAR zip archive and just drop it in. Just drag it and drop it to texture packs and you can have it for use. That's basically it guys. Um thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll be making more Minecraft videos in the future. See ya.